CIT files or SIT files are old raster image file types which you still may come across if you're converting drawings to a CAD format such as DXF or DWG. They're not as common now, they're not uh, nearly as prevalent in raster image software. However, there are still a lot of digitized drawings which will be in SIT file type and that's why it's supported by ScanTCAD. So I've saved this image as a .CIT and pulled it into ScanTCAD. As we can see, the SIT file is just similar to the contents of a TIFF or a similar type of raster image file type. We can zoom in and see the pixels here of this floor plan drawing, which is a scanned drawing of a paper architectural floor plan. With ScanCAD, we can convert a CIT file to DXF or DWG to open in your CAD software, such as AutoCAD, ArchiCAD, Vectorworks, or whatever CAD software you may use. To do that, first, we can clean up the CIT file. We can use the color reduction tools and clean the image. If it holds any speckles or holes and so on, we may also want to smooth out the lines like so. Hit OK, and we've now cleaned the image in the canvas. The next stage is to go ahead and convert the image or vectorize the image. To do that, we load up the Convert Raster Image dialog. I'm going to go for Technical. We'll choose Vectorize and OCR. OCR is Optical Character Recognition, and that's a conversion of text in an image to fully editable vector text strings. As we can see here, the image does contain some text. I'll set the OCR character size like so, just by drawing over the character. And we're ready now to go ahead with a conversion, so we'll hit run. We can see that ScanCAD is going through the OCR and the vectorization of the .CIT file. This is the conversion result now. If we're not happy with the results, we can tweak the settings and go ahead and run again until we are happy. Once complete, we hit OK to save the vectorization to the canvas. You can see now we have three tabs, the raster tab, the vector tab, which is the conversion of the CIT file, and both, which shows the vector image overlaid on top of the CIT image. I'll hit the highlight button so we can highlight the vectors on top just to have a look at the accuracy. You can see that ScanCAD has perfectly traced the original CIT file with the appropriate vector CAD objects. So we've got dash lines where there are dash lines, arcs where there should be arcs, and even text where there should be text. We can now go ahead and save out this file by going to File, Save as Vector, or just use the quick export button and select the file type you wish to create, such as DXF or DWG.